Happening now, your PG&E bill is about to go up again. The California Public Utilities Commission approved an increase this afternoon. On average, it means about $6 more a month for utilities. But many Valley customers say they're already at their breaking point, forced to make some very tough, possibly life-changing decisions. You're either asleep or uh, in their pockets. You know, it's outrageous. It's, it's, to me, it's a uh, piracy. And thank you for joining us tonight for Action News Live at 5. Good evening, I'm Margot Kim, in for Warren Armstrong. And I'm Graciela Moreno. Action News reporter Brisa Colon has been monitoring the meeting and joins us from the ABC 30 Live Desk with details. Brisa. That's right, Margot and Graciela. After extensive public comment, most demanding the proposal be turned down, the California Public Utilities Commission, or CPUC, did grant PG&E yet another electricity rate hike of about 3%. PG&E says this will add about $6 to an average bill. PG&E is already the most expensive utility provider in the state, and PG&E customers are already paying most of the most expensive utility rates in the country. After extensive, angry public comment. I can't believe that you guys can go to bed at night knowing what you're doing. The California Public Utilities Commission unanimously approved another about 3% rate hike for PG&E customers on Thursday. President Alice Reynolds. Yes, the vote is 4-0. Consent agenda number two has been approved. According to PG&E data, residential utility rates have increased about 54% since 2020. This, the fourth hike this year alone, increasing bills by about $6. PG&E officials say they're doing what they can to stabilize rates, pointing to a temporary rate decrease that went into effect in July. It just follows there was a 9% decrease in July and then about a half a percent increase in September and then this would be uh, another 3% increase. But the company says they're in a tough spot. They are paying for wildfire mitigation, undergrounding wires, and repairs from recent winter storms. The Reclaim Our Power Coalition is calling on lawmakers to put utilities into the public's hands. The solution to PG&E's negligence, crimes, and exploitation is simple. Take it over and let the people run their energy. PG&E says they're, quote, being good stewards of our customers' money, but ratepayers say they aren't buying it. PG&E has started the Zog fire, the Dixie fire, the Mosquito fire, burning over a million acres and killing four people. They've raised electricity rates by over 60% in their territory, shut off power to over 160,000 people who couldn't afford to pay. The Utility Reform Network, or TURN, says Thursday's rate hike is just the beginning. They say PG&E has 10 more rate hike proposals on the way. The group now calling for a cap on these increases. What we need to do is to have some limits on these increases. That's what TURN has been fighting for. We, it is not sustainable to have a system where there are no limits to how much PG&E can ask for increases, no limits to how many times each year, and no limits to how much the Utilities Commission can approve. And PG&E says this latest increase will go into effect very soon, as soon as October. At the live desk, I'm Brisa Colon, ABC 30 Action News. Well, this latest rate hike comes as PG&E stopped accepting applications for its REACH relief program due to overwhelming demand. But the utility says it has several other cost-cutting programs to help customers. The qualifications vary depending on each program. For a list, you can check out the link attached to this story online at abc30.com. Hey, Central California, stay up to date with all the latest news and weather. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to ABC 30 Action News.